Hey, it's Sila Social Studies. Hey guys, welcome to Sila Social Studies. I really don't have any type of witty information or witty catchphrases or anything like that to introduce you to any of my videos. So let's just go ahead. Welcome to the Bill of Rights, all right? So what are the Bill of Rights? Well, the Bill of Rights are actually pretty important when it comes down to the signing of the Constitution. And they're very important to this man right here who's in the middle. Oops, look at that, right? That guy in the middle right there, James Madison. And you're going to see why in a minute. What are the Bill of Rights? What is the Bill of Rights? You could say it both ways. Uh, and here's what's going on. Some states would not ratify or approve the Constitution because they believed it gave too much power to the federal government. And when you give too much power to the federal government, what does that equal, right? A monarchy. And remember, people in America don't like monarchies because we just came from a monarchy and we hated the monarchy. So now we wanted to have a government that we can run ourselves. But we created the Articles of Confederation. The Article of, of Confederation was very weak and it couldn't do anything. And oh my gosh, now we did a constitution. The constitution has given too much power to the federal government. So what do we have to do? Well, some of these states, specifically southern states, demanded the rights of citizens be added to protect them from the powers of the federal government, right? So now we are looking for rights of citizens to protect the citizens, people like us. Congress responded by passing what we call the Bill of Rights or a Bill of Rights that was added as the first amendments to the Constitution. So the Bill of Rights are actually the first 10 amendments of the Constitution, right? And good old James Madison, he's like the father of the Bill of Rights. He's the guy that kind of puts him in there, right? So several states are able to ratify the Constitution, but only after we provide a Bill of Rights, making individual rights a priority. So what does that make this? I won't do something unless you do this. Well, that's a compromise because then that means if I do this, will you do this? If I put in these Bill of Rights, will you then go ahead and ratify the Constitution? Yeah, that's what makes the Bill of Rights. The Bill of Rights is a compromise. We've gone over the Compromise of 1790, the one about moving the uh, capital and assuming the state's debts. Now we have another compromise in the beginning of our country. We have the Bill of Rights being a compromise at the beginning of our country. There was no right or wrong answer. Somebody had one idea, somebody had another idea, they had to compromise. You will see throughout the creation of our nation, we made lots and lots of what we call compromises, a plethora of compromises. All right, so upon ratification by the states in December 1791, the Bill of Rights becomes the first 10 amendments of the Constitution. It gives a clear example of how to amend the Constitution to fit the needs of a changing nation. If you remember by the end of the Constitution uh, video, I told you that our Constitution is a living and breathing thing and we can amend it and change it. We could scratch things off and add things. So that's kind of what the Bill of Rights does as well. Uh, flexibility of the Constitution has allowed it to survive for over 200 years. So that's good. Now you want to go over like um, the, the Bill of Rights and what actually the rights are. They are the rights that give us the things of like freedom of speech, the freedom of religion, the freedom to, uh, to protest, uh, the freedom to, um, to bear arms. Number two, you have the protection from quartering troops. Uh, you have uh, illegal search and seizures, due process and double jeopardy. Like I plead the fifth, right? That's the fifth amendment. You have due process. You don't have to say anything to uh, incriminate yourself. Uh, you can't be tried for the same thing twice. You have the right to a trial by jury. Um, so you go into all these all the way to the 10th amendment, which is the powers of the states and the people, right? So the first 10th amendments really protect the citizens of the United States. This was a short and sweet video. Uh, the Bill of Rights is really short and sweet. Uh, we want a constitution, not until you put in rights that protect citizens. Yes, no, no, yes. Oh, you're gonna add the rights, James Madison? I'll sign off. There's your compromise. The first 10 amendments of the constitution, the ones that protect the rights of citizens. And it was a compromise, but it was a compromise that we needed. So now citizens are protected and it go ahead and protects us from the federal government and um, nothing witty. We'll move on.